Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing the makeup and books tag. A few of you have asked me how I do my makeup, so I thought doing the makeup and books tag would be a good way for me to talk about some books and also show you guys how I do my makeup. Hopefully I explain everything okay. I'm going to try my best. So I'm using the questions from Sarah without an H, her video. And one question that Natasha included in her video for contour as well. I also switched up the order a bit to match with the order that I do my makeup, so yes. So step one is primer. So for primer, I usually use two primers. So I use the Too Faced Hangover X primer. So I use this all over my face. This helps just to moisturize my skin and get the foundation clinging to the primer. And then I also use the Benefit Pore Professional. And I just use this around the T-zone area. So I just use a little bit on and around my nose and a little bit on the chin. So the question for primer is pick a book that left a lasting impression on you. And I'm going to have to go with The Female of the Species by Mindy McGuinness. So I read this book recently, I think it was last month, and I keep thinking about this book. It's left a lasting impression on me. <laughs> this book is just so powerful. It's an amazing feminist book. It tackles the topics of rape culture in society. It's just so powerful and amazing. I found myself thinking about this book every now and then, so yeah, I think it will always stay with me and it's definitely left a lasting impression. Just also want to note that there are trigger warnings for animal abuse, violence, and sexual assault in this book, so just keep that in mind. So step number two is foundation and for foundation I use the Too Faced Born This Way foundation. On an everyday basis I actually use this Kareen BB cream so this is the Misha Signature Real Complete BB cream so I usually use this on a daily basis but if I want to feel snazzy then I'll use the Too Faced foundation. This is like a random lid off a foundation that I had ages ago and I usually just pump one pump on the lid and then I just use my finger to spread it out and then just put it on my face. Then I use a beauty blender to blend it all out. The question for foundation is favorite first book in a series. I'm not gonna choose Harry Potter, <laughs> even though that probably is my actual first favorite in a series, but I'm going to choose The Raven Boys by Maggie Stiavata. So I absolutely love this book and I actually haven't even continued on with the series yet and I don't know why I think it's one of those things where I know I'm gonna love it and I just want to cherish it so I'm kind of like holding off on continuing with the series but yeah this first book is just so amazing it sets up the characters you just really get to know the characters and the world and the atmosphere it's amazing it's just so atmospheric perfect to read in the winter in my opinion I definitely plan to continue on soon within the next few months so yeah, that's my favourite first book in a series. Just like bring it down the neck a tiny bit and get the ears. I think the lighting would have gotten much better because I just turned on my... I have like a makeup mirror here. Yeah, so that's, that's better, hopefully. Okay, so step number three is concealer and today I'm going to be using the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer. And the question is pick some characters you wish didn't exist. Of course there are multiple characters that I'm not the biggest fan of, but I can understand their role in the book or series, so I don't necessarily wish that they didn't exist because, you know, they're important to the story. For example, Umbridge. <laughs> I absolutely do not like her, but I can understand her role. And also she's like actually a really great villain in my opinion. So, one character that I really did not like and I don't really see the point of her, I don't really think she's absolutely necessary to the story, is Stormy from P.S. I Still Love You and she is the old woman at the nursing home that Jenny, sorry Jenny, I just said Jenny as in Jenny Hahn, sorry what's her name, Lara, that Lara Jean goes to for her work experience. She kind of forms a friendship with Stormy and Stormy? <laughs> She's just so judgmental and annoying and I'll give you an example. Stormy says to Lara Jean, don't you dare go liking her better than me just because you're both Asian. <laughs> I tried to do an annoying voice, yeah, so she's just really judgmental and close-minded and annoying and I just don't like her. She is definitely someone I wish 
didn't exist in that series because she actually really dampened my enjoyment of that book and I love that series. Well, I haven't read the third one yet, but I really love that series, so I was a bit sad about that. I have to quickly do my powder underneath the eyes before it creases up. So the powder that I use for under the eyes is the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder in Translucent. Sorry, Transparent. I just set my eyes quickly after I blend in my concealer. Okay, so for face powder, I use the Maybelline Fit Me powder. The question for powder is pick your favourite last book in a series. I'm just going to have to go with Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows. I mean, this just wraps everything up and answers like nearly all of the questions that you have throughout the series. It's just simply amazing. I think there will never be a better series conclusion than Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows. So I just realised that there's no question for bronzer and that's what I usually do next. So I think I'll add a question. <laughs> Let me try to think of something cool. Okay, I think the question that I'm going to do for bronzer is pick the perfect summer read. I think a really great summer read. I don't know if it's the perfect one. Sorry, I forgot to say the bronzer. <laughs> the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Bronzer in Radiant Bronze Light. So I think a really great summer read is Since You've Been Gone by Morgan Matson. I just remember listening to that on audiobook during the summer and it is definitely just like a fun, really great summer read. Yeah, so I just add a little bit of bronzer. Nothing too crazy. Okay, so for contour, this is the question that was from Natasha's video. What book surprised you with how much depth it had in it? So first, the contour that I use is the Charlotte Tilbury Film Star Bronze and Glow, so I use the contour in this palette. And I just contour and the contours on my cheeks. So for this question I chose A Court of Mist and Fury by Sarah J Mass. So A Court of Thorns and Roses is really great, I really love that book. But then you get to A Court of Mist and Fury and there is so much more depth. The plot just thickens and gets so complex and it connects to the first book in ways you wouldn't imagine. I just wasn't expecting it. And it also has really great PTSD rep that I've heard of. Yeah, I just love it. It's one of my favorite books of all time, if you didn't know, so I really love it and it has a lot of depth that I was not expecting. I also just do a little bit on the jawline. I feel like my makeup's not going to look as good because I'm doing it on camera and it's a little bit stressful. <laughs> what I do is I get this flat brush and I just get a face powder. I'm just using the same face powder and I just kind of clean it up. So then I actually use a little bit of contour on my nose. So I just use a brush like this and just lightly contour the sides of my nose. And I also use the same trick where I use my face powder and kind of just go on the sides so the contour isn't dragging too far, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> okay, so the next step is blush and I'm going to use the MAC Mineralized Blush in Warm Soul. The question is, pick a book that had a cringeworthy romance. This is probably an unpopular opinion, but I'm going to choose Jason Clary from the Model Instruments series. I am not a fan of Jace at all. <laughs> I find him quite problematic. So I do not like that couple, Jace and Clary, and obviously they are a massive part of the series. So every time they're on the page, I'm like cringing because I really don't like them. <laughs> I just don't think of them as a great relationship. And yeah. <laughs> okay, so after the blush, it might have dragged the contour down a little bit as well. So I'm just going back and cleaning it up. Okay, so the next step that I do is highlighter. Most of the time I use the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Soft and Gentle. I use a brush like this and then I wet the brush before I pick up the highlighter. This is actually the Mario Badascu Rose Water Spray and I just put it in this little bottle. And I just spray the brush and pick up some of the highlighter and put it on. So the question for this is, pick a book that brightens your day. This was an easy one for me. So, to All the Boys I Loved Before by Jenny Han. Oh, also, I just put a little bit of highlighter above my eyebrows here. Yeah, so I love this book. It is, it just makes me smile. So lovely, and I love the family dynamic. I love the sister relationships, and I just love the characters. I also love how they are half Korean and half American, because I'm half Korean and half Australian, so I can relate to, you know, a lot of the things that they do and the things that they eat and stuff like that. So that just makes me feel like, you know, at home sort of, and it just makes me smile. I love this series and it's just so cute and there's like baking and it's just a fun time and brightens my day. So I also actually use a little brush like this and highlight my nose. 
So I just kind of highlight the tip and down the bridge. Sort of like an exclamation point. Now that all my face stuff is on, I actually go ahead and use the Mario Badescu facial spray. And that kind of just gets rid of the powdery look and it's also refreshing, so. <laughs> the next step is eyebrows. And for eyebrows, I actually use multiple products. This brush from Anastasia, the number seven brush is amazing. So I usually just get the spoolie side and brush my hairs up. And then I use the Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade in dark brown and then also Brow Powder Duo in dark brown. I start off with a pomade. So I start at the bottom and I just kind of do an outline of the bottom of the brows. And you want to be light handed near the front of the brow. So just like that. <laughs> and then the other side. So once I have the outline at the bottom of the brow, get some more of the pomade and I mimic hairs going upwards. I just create strokes from the bottom going upwards. And I just do this near the front of my brow. Okay, so now that I've created the strokes at the front of my brow, I'm just going to fill in the ends of my brow. So I outline the top of my brow, create the little tail. And then I just fill in the ends. Okay, so now I'm finished with the pomade and I'm going to use the powder duo. So I take the lightest shade and fill in the gaps with the lighter shade so it creates some like dimension. And I do that at the front of my brows. And then I take the darker shade and fill in the ends of my brows. So now I've finished filling in the brows, I take my brow gel. So this is the L'Oreal Brow Artist Plumper. This is in dark brown and this helps to tint the brow hairs and also it has little like hairs that cling onto your actual hairs so it makes your eyebrows look fuller. Okay, so I just realised I didn't even answer the question. So the question for eyebrows was, pick a book you think everyone should read. I think everyone should read In Order to Live by You and Me Park. So this is actually a non-fiction book about Yeonmi Park's escape from and time in North Korea. It just really reveals the true horrors of North Korea and it shows all the suffering that the North Korean people have to go through and how much of an issue it is. I think everyone should be educated on that. And it also helps you to put things into perspective and realise what's important and how we shouldn't be worrying about silly little things in life. Yeah, I think everyone should read that book and everyone will be benefited from reading that book. Step number nine is eyeshadow. The question is, pick a book with your favourite colours on the cover. I'm not sure what my all-time favourite colours are. I really do love pink, gold and silver and white, so I chose Emergency Contact by Mary H.K. Che. That's how my mum, who is Korean, told me how to pronounce it, but maybe it's Choi. Yeah, so I just really love this cover. I feel like this is sort of me. Yeah, so obviously I love the pink, I love the gold, I love the white, and I also do love black. Yeah, I really love this cover and these are probably my favourite colours. But I also do love red, so I don't know. <laughs> so for eyeshadow, I think I'm going to use this palette today. So this is the Huda Beauty Rose Gold Textured Eyeshadow Palette. I'm going to start off using Shy, which is the light pink in the crease. So I just use a big fluffy brush to get that transition colour. So then I'm going to use a smaller crease brush, get the depth in the crease. So I'm going to use a mixture of henna and bossy and put that in the crease. Then I just go back with the fluffy brush and blend it out. Actually pick up a tiny bit of the pink that I just used in the beginning and blend out the edges. Now I'm going to use the crease brush to put some of that pink on the lower lash line. Also pick up some of the henna and bossy mixed on the lower lash line. Okay, now I'm going to pick up some of Angelic, which is the light shimmery pink on my finger, and put that on the lid. And then pick up the crease brush again and blend it out. And pick up more of henna and bossy and deepen the crease a little bit more. And then I'm gonna get a little pencil brush and pick up Moon Dust, which is like a light shimmery 
color and put it on my brow bone. Then I pick up a flat brush like this and then I pick up Bay, a matte vanilla -y color and I clean up the edges. I just connect the outer corner of my eye to the end of my eyebrow. And then I just use a brush to blend that out. The next step is eyeliner and I don't actually usually do like a flake. Eyeliner, I usually just use a brown eyeliner for my waterline. This is actually Teddy by MAC so it's like a dark brown shimmery colour and it's just so pretty. The question is pick a dark and mysterious book. And I chose The Unbecoming of Mara Dyer for this question. This book is super dark and super mysterious. <laughs> this is sort of like a, I'm pretty sure this is, it is like a psychological thriller. It's like a young adult psychological thriller, I think. Or maybe it's just paranormal romance. It's definitely pretty spooky. <laughs> There's like murder and stuff going on. The main character is an unreliable narrator, so you don't actually know if what she's experiencing is the truth. So that's what makes it super mysterious because you don't actually know what's going on a lot of the time, like what is real, what is not, because she has hallucinations. I thought that book was perfect for this question. So after I do my eyeliner, I actually get a little bit more eyeshadow underneath. I use a little brush like this to pack some darker shadow underneath the lash line. So this is just my eyeshadow palette with random eyeshadow. So I think I'm going to choose Mulch by MAC and put a little bit underneath. And this is actually a similar colour to the eyeliner. And then I go back in with the crease brush and blend that out. Okay, so the next step is mascara. And the question is, pick a long book, which is actually funny because my eyelashes are not long at all. Okay, first I'll answer the book question, then I'll talk about my mascara. The book... Ow. Oh, I think I actually hurt myself. This is a weapon, this book. The book that I chose is It by Stephen King. I haven't read this book yet, but it is so big. This book is definitely the largest book that I own and it is so heavy. I'm going to read this eventually. I think I'm gonna try listening to it on audiobook first. Okay, so for my mascara, I curl my eyelashes first. Then I use, is this creepy? <laughs> then I use the Maybelline The Falsies Mascara. And to be honest, I don't really care what my eyelashes look like when I put my mascara on because I add false lashes afterwards, so this is mainly just so it's black and a bit wet so it can cling to the false lashes and blend in better. And I also just curl them so they blend in better because my eyelashes are pretty straight. Okay, so I have this little lash story. So it has all my eyelashes, so I definitely try to get as much use of my eyelashes as possible so I don't just use them once and chuck them away. I definitely reuse them until they're just gross. <laughs> my favourite everyday eyelashes are the Ardell Wispies. That's what I'm going to use today. And the eyelash glue that you use is also super important because my eyelashes always stay on even if it's super windy. <laughs> the glue that is my favourite of all time is the Revlon Precision Clear Lash Adhesive. So this is just a, cl yeah, a clear lash adhesive. And it comes with a little brush, which is just super helpful. And I just put in layer on the band of the eyelash. It's my tweezers and hold it like this. So I wait for the eyelashes to get tacky. Well, while well, I wait for the eyelash glue to get tacky. In this time, bend the eyelashes a bit so they become more flexible. Yeah, so I wait like, you know, 30 seconds or so. And then I grab the eyelash with my tweezers and I put them on my lash line, facing upwards. And I also obviously put it as close to the lash line as possible. What a look. Okay, so now that's all finished. I don't actually put any mascara on top of the eyelashes because I've already used these eyelashes, so they already have mascara on them, so I don't really feel the need to darken them. Then I just get a felt tip eyeliner. Oh, this is like a marker, actually. Darken the lash band. So if there's any, like, glue on it or anything like that, then I can just colour it in black. <gasps> no! I just dropped the eyeliner on my book. So now I'm going to put some mascara on my bottom lashes. And for my bottom lashes, I really like using the Essence Lash Princess Mascara. Okay, so now we're up to the final step, which is lipstick. My go-to combo lately has been the Cherry MAC Lip Liner and the Jeffree Star Red Rum Liquid Lipstick. So that's what I'm going to do. I think I'll do my lips first and then I'll talk about the question because it is a spoiler for people who haven't read the book. So I just outline my lips first. And then I fill it in. 
Yep, so now that that's filled in, and it doesn't have to be perfect because I actually clean it up later, I get the liquid lipstick and just put it on my lips. Can you guys see that? <laughs> Lately my lips have been trembling when I've been putting my lipstick on and it's really annoying because it makes it hard to put it on properly. Okay, so now that my lipstick is on, as you can probably see, it's not perfect. I get the flat brush that I use to clean up my eyeshadow. And I get a little bit of concealer, so I use this concealer palette from MAC. And I get a concealer and just kind of clean up the edges. Okay, so now that I've cleaned it up with a little bit of concealer, I just go in with a little brush and some powder and set that concealer. And because I just want to have a little bit of fun, I think I'm going to put a little heart on my cheek because I feel like it. <laughs> There's my little heart. <laughs> okay, so the question for lipstick is your favourite book kiss. My favourite book kiss is... Okay, so actually this is going to be a spoiler if you haven't read. I put on the Deathly Hallows, then mute this video or skip this bit because I'm about to spoil something that happens in Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows. I'll hold this book up. Once I finish talking about it, I'll put the book down. So if you don't want to be spoiled, just wait for me to put the book down. So my favourite book kiss is The Kiss Between Ron and Hermione. I just love it. So it's when Ron and Hermione go to the Chamber of Secrets and get all the basilisk fangs to kill the Horcruxes and Hermione's holding all the basilisk fangs. Ron says something like, we need to check the house elves in the kitchens. If you've read the series, then you know how Ron has been like sort of laughing at Hermione this whole time that she set up Spew and everything and doesn't think house elves matter that much. So this means a lot to Hermione and then she goes, oh Ron, and then she like tosses all the basilisk fangs and then jumps on him and kisses him and then he like lifts her up and it is just so cute. And the movie Kiss sucks, in my opinion. <laughs> I really don't like the movie Kiss between Ron and Hermione. Well, it's okay, but compared to the book Kiss, it's really not that good. So yeah, so this is my favourite book Kiss. <laughs> okay, so that is all for this video. I hope that I explained things well enough. If you have any other questions, then you can just let me know in the comments and I'll try to answer them. Please let me know your answers to these questions in the comments. And yeah, I hope you're having a great day or night and I'll see you on my next video.